What's up, guys? This is Dave from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 4. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. All right, let's jump into the quarterback position. The top QB on my list this week is CJ Stroud from the Houston Texans, playing the Jacksonville Jaguars, who have one of the worst defenses overall. Stroud's been making waves, especially after that intense exchange with Caleb Williams. He's got a dash rank of 100, a salary of 7,000 on DraftKings, projected at 19 fantasy points. He's averaged 15 points per game this season with recent scores of 12, 14, and 19. Ownership is around 6.3%, making him a solid play this week. For the running back position, I'm sticking with Jordan Mason from the San Francisco 49 ERs, playing the New England Patriots, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall. With a dash rank of 100 and a salary of 6,700, Mason is projected to score 15 points. He's been on fire with scores of 11, 20, and 25 in his last games. His ownership is 41.5%, showing that he's hugely popular. And considering Christian McCaffrey is still dealing with injury concerns, Mason remains a fantastic pick. Now for wide receivers, Stefan Diggs from the Houston Texans is my top choice. He's facing the Jacksonville Jaguars, who have one of the worst defenses overall. Diggs is projected at 13 fantasy points with a dash rank of 100 and a salary of 6,600 on DraftKings. He's averaging 17 fantasy points per game and recently scored 28 and 22 points. With only 5.3% ownership, he's flying under the radar, which is great for getting an edge on the competition. Next, the tight end position. I like Brock Bowers from the Las Vegas Raiders playing the Cleveland Browns, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall and are 16th against tight ends. Bowers has a dash rank of 100, a salary of 5,600, and is projected to score 10 points. He's averaged 13 points per game, scoring 7, 19, and 12 points in his last three games. With 6.8% ownership, he's got the potential to outperform expectations against a non-elite defense. For the flex position, I'm going with Brian Robinson Jr. from the Washington Commanders, playing the Arizona Cardinals, who have one of the worst defenses overall. Robinson has a score of 15 fantasy points per game, with a dash rank of 100 and a salary of 6,100. He's projected at 12 points and has scored 11, 18, and 18 points in his last three games. With only 3.5% ownership, he's also a great low-cost, high-upside pick to add to your lineup. Finally, moving on to the defense, I recommend the Bengals, playing the Carolina Panthers, who have one of the worst offenses overall. They have a dash rank of 100 and are projected to score 8 fantasy points. Their salary is 3,400 on DraftKings, and their recent fantasy points have been minus 2, 9, and 2. With the Panthers' offensive struggles, the Bengals' defense should have a strong showing and could be a strategic addition to your lineup. So there you have it, my top picks for this week. Remember, you can try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself by clicking the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys think. Thanks again and good luck.